it's CEO here, and today I'll show you how to get every mushroom DIY. These DIYs are some of the most sought after because they are simply one of the best item sets in the game. You'll be able to collect mushroom DIYs during the entire month of November, or all of May if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, and I'll also show you some tips and tricks on how to find these stubborn crafting recipes. But first, I need to show you how to get mushrooms, because without our little shroomy friends, you won't be able to craft the mushroom DIYs. Mushrooms can be found all throughout the month of November. They sprout at the base of cedar and hardwood trees, so be sure to have a decent amount of those trees planted on your island, so you have somewhere for the mushrooms to spawn. The more trees you have planted means the more mushrooms that could spawn on your island. If you don't have any or enough trees, you can buy saplings at Nook's Cranny for 640 bells each. There are four types of mushrooms that will spawn at the bases of trees. The flat mushroom, round mushroom, skinny mushroom, and elegant mushroom. These four are the easiest mushrooms to find. There is also one more type of mushroom, which is the rarest of them all, the rare mushroom. This mushroom resembles the truffle, and just like it, it only spawns in the ground. To find a rare mushroom, look at the bases of your trees and try to find a dig spot, which is how it looks if a fossil or pitfall is buried. Then dig up the spot to claim your rare mushroom. If you're also in need of some bells, these bad boys sell for 10,000 bells apiece. It's also been rumored that if you have a perfect 5-star island, more rare mushrooms will spawn, so let me know in the comments if you have experienced this or not. All five of these mushroom types are used to craft the mushroom DIYs, can be eaten to gain the ability to move a tree, and will be key ingredients in the new cooking functionality coming to New Horizons on November 5th. The Mush DIYs are some of the most sought after items in the game, and it's also very likely that some of the rarest cooking DIYs will include mushrooms, especially the rare mushrooms. So you'll want to stock up on these shrooms if you want to craft and cook all year long. And since cooking is brand new to the game, I'm sure you really want to get your hands on those mushrooms so you can cook all the new food dishes. I highly recommend walking around your island each day in November and picking up and digging up all the mushrooms you can find. A new set of mushrooms spawns every day at 5am, so you'll be able to collect more every day. But just remember, mushrooms only appear on your island in November or in May on the Southern Hemisphere. And now that you have all your mushrooms, it's time to find those mushroom DIYs you've been wanting to get your little villager hands on. The mush DIYs include the forest flooring, forest wall, mush lamp, my fave, mush log, mush low stool, mush parasol, mush partition, mush table, mush umbrella, mush wall, mushroom wand, and the mushroom wreath. The main way to get the mush DIYs is by shooting down balloons out of the sky, so you'll want to carry a slingshot or two on you so you can shoot down any balloons you see outside. You won't be able to go into Nook's Cranny or into your house to grab a slingshot if you see a balloon because they despawn when you enter a building. So if you go inside any building, you'll lose that balloon. Not every balloon you shoot down will contain a DIY, and not every DIY that falls out of a balloon will be a mush DIY. So it's a bit up to chance if you'll find a mushroom DIY at all, and it does take extreme patience and determination, but it's definitely worth the wait. Since shooting balloons out of the sky can be a challenge, I made an entire video on how to maximize the amount of balloons you find on your island. The more balloons you find equals more chances of completing your mush DIY set faster. This video shows you the jail bar method to guide balloons to a specific area on your island, which then you can easily shoot down without running all over your island. Definitely check out that video as it goes into much more detail and can help you out even more. This method also applies to any event where you want to shoot down lots of balloons. You may have heard certain color balloons will hold a specific category of items. For example, yellow balloons will always drop bells, blue balloons will always drop materials, green balloons will always drop clothing, or red balloons will always drop DIYs. Now this is not accurate. There is a possibility that the color balloon means it has a higher chance of dropping an item from its assigned category, but any balloon color can drop any item. But if you're using the jail bar method, you'll want to shoot down balloons of any color anyway. With 12 mushroom DIYs to collect over 30 days, you'll have to find at least one DIY every two and a half days or so to find them all before November is over. Luckily, the mushroom season is not time-locked, so you can always time travel back to November if you want more mushrooms or you're still looking to get the mushroom DIYs. And that's everything you need to know about how to get all the mushroom DIYs and every type of mushroom. Will you be participating in the mushroom season? If so, which mushroom DIY is your favorite? Mine has to be the mush lamp because not only was it my favorite lamp in Animal Crossing Wild World, it also glows, which is a cute touch. And I'm a sucker for any item that glows. I hope this video helped you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.